Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. My name is Arsha TV and welcome back. We're going to be talking about a Did You Know series. And the first of many is Did You Know About Rend? Rend is a debuff that you can apply on monsters and players alike. This debuff will amplify you and your teammates damage by a maximum of 30%. Let's go dive right in. I'll show you what it's all about. Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's go ahead and show you guys where we're at. We're at Valor Hold and the dummies are pointing inside. That means their backs are to us, which also allows us to have a 100% crit rate from behind, which makes our damage numbers consistent. Here you're going to see Lasting Trauma. It's the third skill below Armor Breaker. Armor Breaker is going to be the first skill point you'll use, then Indomitable, and then you will have access to the 20% rend. That will last for 10 seconds. And this is going to be a skill that we're going to be taking advantage of here tonight to explain more about Rend. Then you'll look at Sundering Shockwave. Sundering Shockwave doesn't have Rend attached to it, but when you have Sundering Shockwave with the perk on the weapon or the armor, that's when it's applied. So there's actually perks that you can put in your armor or your weapons for each and every skill. And here's that skill right there, Sundering Shockwave. Apply, inflicts Rend for 14% for 10 seconds, or you can have it in the armor piece like you're seeing right there in the boots. 9.5 that you can have instead, or go for the weapon for 14%. Here, we got an opportunity to do 2,000 flat damage to make the calculations as easy as possible. We're going to start off by showing you a couple of runs here. We're Sundering Shockwave at 14% and Armor Breaker at 20% thanks to th Lasting Trauma, giving us 34% extra rend. But, sadly, we're only doing 30% max damage increase. We're going to try Sundering Javelin on the Spear. That is going to give us 24% rend, and we're going to take advantage of Preforate and the skill underneath Preforate, Rupturing Strikes, which will amplify our rend to 30% if we hit all three strikes instead of that 5% each hit. Now, let's go ahead and do all of the rends together and see if this is going to increase our damage with Preforate into Sundering Javelin, into Sundering Shockwave, and Armor Breaker. And you're noticing we are still doing a maximum of 30% additional damage at 2,600 in comparison to our 2,000. Here, you're going to see Armor Breaker is 20%. Let's go and check it out doing armor breaker from behind now it's 2400 which is a flat 20 percent damage increase and here with sundering shockwave you'll get a 14.3 percent damage increase and that's on an aoe which is fascinating have a good one i hope this was easy to understand until next time well did you know about rend let me know down in the comments down below if you knew 1% Ren equals 1% additional damage up to a maximum of 30% Ren or 30% additional damage on said target. I'm excited to tell you more about the Did You Know series coming up next. But before that, what we like to do is to read a comment from our previous videos. On the New World the Abyss Tanking Gear for Corruption Award, we're going to go look at Persian God X's comment. After watching this video, and I started tanking Corruption Dungeons and made 500k selling shards. Thank you, Arshi, and big heart goes out to you too. Looking forward to seeing if these Did You Know series have helped you and looking forward to talking about the next commenter in the next video. Till next time, everybody. 